Hi, and welcome to Love is Crafting. Love is Crafting. I'm Tila. And I'm Stanton. If you're new to our channel, thanks for checking us out. And if you're returning, thanks for the support. What we do on this channel is we take you through crafting and DIY projects that are real, but not necessarily perfect because love, love isn't, isn't perfect. perfect. We have a goal to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, but we need your help. Would you consider subscribing to our channel? We post new videos every Saturday. And in this video, we will be giving the original spinet an upgrade. Yes, this attachment takes the original spinet and turns it into the spinet pro. So with the original spinet, we had some agitations. It never securely held onto the cups and we had a few fall off. So although the original spinet had a dial that adjusted the bracket to be bigger or smaller, it was never quite right. So when we saw this in Michael's for 20 bucks, we just had to check it out. So make sure you watch to the end of the video and you'll see if upgrading it to the Spinning Pro was worth the money. But before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love is crafting. Love is crafting. Okay, so we have our original Spinet right here and we have the Spinet Pro attachment right here. And we are going to see if the additional attachment is worth the money. Um, so let's take a look. So we open up the box and we have a piece here and a piece here and the directions. Always fun, right? Yeah. So when you say worth the money, do you know how much you spent on this? This was $19.99 at Michael's and that I believe was on sale. I didn't use any coupon, which, you know, that hurts my feelings when I don't do that. All right, so the instructions- Especially at crafting stores, don't they have like coupons? Yeah, but usually Coupons, something... not coupons, coupons. Coupons, yeah. as usually if something's on sale, it doesn't apply. So I don't even try anymore. So it says place the support beam on the base with, with notch side against the motor housing. Attach arm by resting metal rod on the support beam with the bearing sheath resting in the top notch of the beam. Screw your screw into motor housing. After reading that one line, it verifies why men don't read directions. I have no idea what you just said. Yeah, well, the pictures helped a lot. So I think the first thing we need to do is actually take off this old um, arm. And you do that by just unscrewing it. And it came off pretty easy. So this says to take the attachment and when you look at the picture, it's pretty simple. You just kind of put it like that. And then it says to pretty much just screw this in. So what this does differently than the original is this one you can unscrew it, I guess, unscrew it here or somehow and take it off. And so while your cup's on it, you can put your cup down like this and then you can put an additional, see they want you to buy more than one, right? So then you can put an additional arm on here and then spin that one while this one is drying. Yeah. They want you to buy additional arms instead of additional machines. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Now you're not doing... Wait, did I miss it? How much did you pay for this uh, edition? $19.99 with and no how much coupon, did the remember? Machine? Um, I believe the machine was like 40 bucks, but we've had this machine for a very, very long time. I want to say at least two or three years because, again, this is the original model. So the new ones, it's the Spinet Pro and it comes already with this. So we got that going. Let's see if it works. It turns, that's awesome. So this, apparently it says like you're supposed to use your hands to make this go in and then put your cup on. So. Let's get you a cup. Yeah, let me go ahead and grab a cup and try it. Okay, so this is a 30 ounce skinny cup, so it is smaller than most of them. Um, and we can just try to push it in there. Hold on. Con huevos. 
So you do need some muscle to do this. Um, and I don't always have the strongest hand muscles. So, oh, there we go. So we got it on there. So let's see. Oh, it's not turning. Something didn't go right, guys. Hmm. Well, that's a uh, troubleshoot. All right, well, maybe I need to pull it out. I mean, it turns on its own here, right? So, wait, maybe this is stopping. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay, so it looks like it's getting caught on this somehow, right? So back up the cup a little bit? I think you probably need to put, or uh, let's see where it's stopping. Hmm, wonder why it's doing that. Any ideas? Uh, no, let me play with it. We'll see. To be continued. Okay, so we figured it out and it was user error. <laughs> so it wasn't screwed all the way in. You can see the, the um, still, you can still see like the tread marks in the uh, cup. So if you keep screwing, that keeps. closes all the way until it actually stops. Till it stops. And then let's try it again. And voila, it is now working. <laughs> User error. ID, ID 10T? Yeah, pretty much. Um, but with it being such a long cup, I am a little nervous how level it's going to stay for the whole time. But I will go ahead and get some epoxy on this. And I'll probably be using the liquidy split by, from KS Resin. So hopefully it won't have to turn too long. But we'll see what happens. All right, so we are going to mix up our epoxy. Um, I am using KS Resin's Liquidy Split. What I do is I put it into these little disposable cups and they are already marked and measured. I am going to be using, um, I'm torn between using 10 and uh, 20 or 30. You know what, let's go ahead and do, I don't know, I'm torn. How about you do just, 25? Um, that's gonna be hard to do, cause this only goes by, um, to do 25, it's what, 12.5, and that's too hard to try to find out the line for 12.5. So you know what, we're gonna err on the side of too much rather than not enough, right? Cause I would hate to have to go back and I'm sure Kay and Resin is happy about that. <laughs> Remix. So we're gonna do 30, so I'm doing 15 of one, and then I'm doing 15 of the other. You wanna make sure that you are doing equal parts, and that, um, cause if you don't have the ratio right, um, your epoxy's not gonna harden, and it's gonna still be sticky, and you don't want that. the whole thing is 30. So from there, you want to get your your little mixing stick. It's a popsicle stick. Let's not, not uh, be coy. Okay, popsicle stick, mixing stick, whatevs. Um, and one thing that I really do like about the KS resin is it does not have an odor. Um, I love it, love it, love it for that. Um, when we used another brand that you get from Hobby Lobby, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it is so strong. It's and probably I, better than not say the name of something that you're dissing, so, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, people wanna know the um, the real, like the pros and cons of everything. It, you can find the one in the store at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. It's in a purple box. And that one, it's a good epoxy and everything. It just takes a long time to dry which most epoxies do, and it just has a really strong odor. 
And so it's one of those where you would definitely want to like maybe wear a mask or be in a very ventilated area. Um, I didn't like using it in the house. You know, they also have the UV light uh, set epoxy, which I think we might want to try next. I do want to try that. I was actually thinking about that the other day. Look at you reading my mind. Um, you want to mix this for a couple of minutes. You can start to tell when it's mixed thoroughly because the consistency will change. It's not as thick. And I know that probably doesn't make sense, but it'll make sense when you're actually mixing. And it turns to a clear, clear color. With bubbles. With bubbles. But the bubbles disappear, so that's also good about liquidy split. Yeah, you can just hit that with um, a heat gun or some alcohol and it will go well. And I'm just gonna put on my gloves so I can apply this epoxy. And of course I'm having a little bit of trouble getting my glove on, but. Okay, so this might be an overshare, but I sweat a lot and so my hands are sweaty a lot of the times and it makes it for a really hard time trying to put on gloves. So, I did find a hack where you got to put um, baby powder inside the gloves and it'll really yep, dry up your hands so that. So with me, I start off by going ahead and I just pour a line of epoxy onto the cup while it's not spinning. And then I take my finger and I go over the cup. Um, this cup all has already been glittered and had it first its first layer of epoxy this is the second layer of epoxy that's going over the decals that way when you touch it it seems smooth like you can't just peel up the decals yeah and i did have to sand the cup down a little bit um but not too much So yeah, you just take your finger and you just slide down on the cup and you want to get a nice thin layer. You want to make sure you get the top of the cup really well and then I will go on the bottom and do that as well. I just love the love 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 the colors of this cup um, if you don't know or if you can't tell I am a big fan of lime green it is my absolute favorite it just makes me happy and it brings me joy it's like looking at like the Sun like how can you not be happy when you see the Sun yeah, I don't know. That seems kind of dangerous, you know, to just look at the sun. I mean, of course, don't look at it directly, but like... Unless you're, 40, the... unless you're 45, of course. <laughs> People know what that means. I'm just saying, like, you just look... It's just like, you just happy. Sunshine and happiness just kind of, I don't know, go together to me. I don't know. But... Yeah, well, if you're that into this cup, um, be sure to tune in maybe next week and we will show you the full tutorial on how we made this cup it's pretty awesome looks like you probably should have went with 20. yeah but it's okay so in your opinion if you made too much would you prefer to put put it all on there and have a thicker layer or just throw away the uh, excess so neither <laughs> I wouldn't do either what I would do is I would put the extra epoxy into another silicone mold that I had and I'd use it for something else <laughs> like I hate being wasteful I like that I like that uh, mentality yeah so I have some car coaster um, silicone molds 
um, that I will probably just make a car coaster for out of epoxy. Um, okay, so you wanna just make sure that you go over the entire cup gently and make sure that you're not missing any spots and you can kind of feel when you missed a spot and I missed a spot over there so I'm gonna wait for it to come back around and I'm actually gonna stop it so I don't miss it again and you can feel when you miss the spot and so um, it just has a it has like a dry feel like you it feels like your finger doesn't slide over it smoothly and easily and now I'm gonna just get the bottom of this cup and to do this just kind of dip your finger in it and then go over it and I could actually have this spinning while I'm doing that you want to make sure that you keep your cup spinning so that the epoxy can level out and do its thing. So you're saying to make sure that the um, the epoxy is like kind of slippery wet. You want to dip your finger in and then circle around the base, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just realized what you said. Okay, well, so much for that. Um, and make sure that you pay a close attention to the tops towards the um, the top of the cup and the bottom. That's usually where I make, I'm going to call them mistakes. But this actually doesn't look like it has many bubbles, but I am going to go ahead and spray it with alcohol um, just in case. I am going to do that. Oh wait, I'm missing. Like I said, you can kind of tell when you when you're looking at it if you miss the spot. It just looks It's not as shiny. Yeah, like it looks dry. It's the best way I can put it. Looks dry. So you want to make sure that you apply some epoxy and get that really good coverage. We're gonna hit this with the alcohol, and this is just going to get rid of any bubbles that might be there. What are you doing? Doing the video? And that is it. So we're gonna let this turn for probably an hour or two, and then um, with the liquidy split, it should be it should be available to touch it. So, see you then. Okay, so the cup has been turning for about two and a half hours now, and because we use KS Resin's liquidy split, it is dry to the touch. But you don't want to grab it like. Someone did. You were being all gentle. I wanted to. to yes, test because it. it still will show up with fingerprints. So you want to be very delicate with it. It's not fully cured yet, so we don't manhandle it. Um, but so far, so good. Um, the spin it upgrade to the Pro um, was really nice. It spun it spun really nicely, and it kept the cup really level. Yeah, so this cup is actually longer, if you notice, it's longer than our normal cups, but although it's longer, it still was able to keep a level level center of gravity, so it, it didn't it didn't um it didn't fall off. Fall off. And so that's really good and exciting. And like it it didn't like if you moved it a little bit or bumped it, it didn't like wiggle or shake, so it felt really secure. Yeah. And one of the up or one of the, the benefits Features? Yeah. of this spinet that Tila actually told me about. If you unscrew this. Very gentle. Oh my gosh. Again, this is this is the pro. man handle it. This is the pro. It needs it can, it can handle it. He's gonna totally man, man handle it. 
handle everything. But if I manhandle it, that means that if you gentle touch it, it, um... Well, I'm still concerned with you and your thumbprints here. Does this come off? Yes. Yeah, oh, it does, okay. Boom, how cool is that? That is really cool. But they get you because they want you to go buy another one of these arms so that you can start working on another cup. They might have got me because I think uh, that's going to be the next part that I go with. But at the price point of $20, it's really not a bad investment. Yeah, $20 is worth it. Definitely. Well, um, make sure that you like and comment on this video. And until the next one, love is crafting. Love is crafting.